So most people at some point in their life have started a Diablo 2 ladder with the Blizzard Sorcerers, and I get it. It's very good at doing anything from Cows, Motric and Mephisto, and Dario, Ancient Tunnels. It has so many uses. It really is kind of the best. But if you want to try to start this ladder off a little different, you could go with this build that I'm showing you right here, and that's this Budget Lightning Sorceress. A lot of people think you have to have Infinity in order to do anything with the Lightning Sorcerers, and it's just not really true. Now, it is true that you're not going to be farming Players 8 Cows with this Lightning Sorceress. You're not going to be slaughtering Players 8 Chaos Sanctuary or anything, but there's specific locations to farm to get items that people are really, really searching for at the beginning of Ladder. Let's get after it. Okay, now the things that you're going to be farming here are actually going to be keys and lower runes. And the Lightning Sorceress specifically is actually pretty darn good at this. Main reason is because a lot of people will start off with Blizzard or with Fire or something like that. You can't kill the Countess in Hell difficulty with any Cold or Fire build. She is always immune to those two, but she is never immune to Lightning. So the Countess is very good. You can get a lot of lower runes. You can even get mid runes up to Ist. Technically, I know she can drop a low rune from her monster drop table, but that's like incredibly uncommon. I've never seen it. I've never actually seen someone do it before. I've only heard stories about it. Now, there are other keys as well, such as the one you get from Neelithak and the one you get from the Summoner. Neelithak's really hard, obviously. The Summoner, super easy. There's obviously ghost packs on the way down to the Summoner and on the way down to the Countess in order to get high runes. They have a higher rune drop chance from those ghosts. We'll go ahead and take a look at the character, the build, and I'll show you some examples here of exactly how to do all of that. We'll start off first by showing you the character, super basic here. First of all, uh, just enough strength to wear your gear, all the rest into vitality, pretty typical there. The resistances are very low. That's because you're incredibly budget as you get better gear. This would obviously get better. Now we'll take a look at the skill tree. It's Lightning Sorceress, so you got Lightning, you've got Lightning Mastery maxed out, and you see the uh, synergies for Lightning. There's three of them, Charge Bolt, Nova, and Chain Lightning, so I got a couple of them maxed out. Not quite on the Nova being maxed out, not high enough level. Because as you've seen here, I'm only level 82, you know, on the budget theme. When we go over to Cold, one in the Frozen Armor, pretty normal, and one into Warmth right there, and obviously, the must have one points on the lightning tree, telekinesis, teleport, and static. All right, we'll take a look at the gear. Don't really need to move out of the way because down here, I mean, you don't need a geese. If you got it, you got it. You throw it in there if you got it. Try to get one faster hit recovery charm just so that you can reach the 60% faster hit recovery break point that you get with the 55 on your spirit. So I got a spirit sword here, obviously. I have a peasant's crown, super budget stuff all around here. We've got a lidless. We've got an amulet that has life and res on it, so helping me out there for some survivability. We've got a Viper Magi, some rare boots that got some uh, resistance on them. A couple FCR rings, Trang's gloves here, and we got us a towels belt because I had found it. Anything on there that you can hold for uh, the maximum slots of potions down here, pretty much. Over on Switch, I do have a lower res one. This can help you out. If you're going to do some other things, like if you're ever going to try to do Mephisto or Andara, you can lower res them real quick, and that will help you out in that type of situation. Now, on the Mercenary, just a garbage insight. This is just garbage. The best you can get on a Mercenary, It's you don't necessarily have to have one, but an insight obviously helps you out. I do have a Treachery, um, Durial Shell, anything like that. Any of those lower level stuff for the Act 2 Mercenary. And I do have a Talos Mask, another kind of budget. Maybe you won't have it the first couple days if you don't get lucky enough to find one, but it is kind of another budget thing right there. So with that gear, I did get over the 117. I actually have 123 on the faster cast rate. Let me go ahead and show you the first place. And specifically, what I like to do with the Lightning Sorcerer at the beginning of a ladder is farming keys. Specifically the Countess and you could do the Summoner to and farm Ghost Packs along the way of both of those. Because obviously Ghost Packs have better chances of finding high runes than other monsters. You know, according to the quote unquote odds. And also obviously you can get uh, pretty good runes from the Countess as well. Let me go ahead and teleport down there and show you. And like right here we'll stop and just show you. There are Ghost Packs down to the Countess and they are incredibly weak. Super, super easy to take them out. They do technically have a better chance of finding high runes from those. So if you want to on your way down to the Countess, you can take those out easy peasy. Alrighty, so here we are down to the Countess. And the reason this is good for the Countess, you see she is immune to fire and cold. And she's easily wrecked by lightning. Oh, that's how you do a video, boys. This is another reason you run the Countess. You can get keys 
or you can do one run for a video and pull a mal rune from that but as you see here we got a tal and a ral which rals you need for the insight tiles you need for spirit runes so you can put together spirit and insight sets and trade those for stuff or you can use the rails for crafting material and also obviously you know you can get the keys from the countess but also you can get things like a mal rune let's go ahead and check out the next location where you can farm another key which is good to trade to get better gear here at the beginning of ladder for diablo 2 resurrected Alrighty, so as you see we're in the cast sanctuary and yes there are also ghost packs in here Feel free to take them out if you would like. They also, obviously, ghosts have the higher chance of rune drops. People will swear to me they come out here and farm high runes all the time. I have found found a few high runes from these ghost packs, but we'll go ahead and teleport out to the summoner. And yes, we're farming another key here, and that's coming from the summoner. You see, you just absolutely slap him down with lightning, no problem. Did not drop me a key. But there you go. You can farm the summoner to get keys and hit these ghost packs along the way if you would like to try that way. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and try Neolithak, but I'll show you kind of why you don't want to do Neolithak. He is a tough cookie. There goes all of my life. Usually if I'm farming Neolithak, I'll take him down on one side and then teleport over here to get away from the corpses of the monsters that were coming towards me. He did not drop anything, but man, there are dolls down here. There can be succubi, or not dolls, but these Stygian looking dudes. So Neolithak is one that you can do buyer beware. It is a tough situation down here, but you can farm all the keys with this particular lightning sorcerer's build, even with budget without an infinity. Alrighty, and there's the obvious go-to early spaces for a sorceress, Andaril and Mephisto, and we'll show you how these work. It is not the absolute godliest for farming down here. Your mercenary will probably get taken out, but it does work technically. It's not the best, but if you're going to be down uh, farming this stuff, there you go. Doesn't work too bad. A Yari and an Amethyst. Wow, that guy almost slapped me. But as you see, my mercenary got taken out. He doesn't have good poison res, so that's going to kind of happen. So I will mention in general, you could probably do that and Dario farming without the mercenary because he gets taken down by the poison so fast. Because when you moat trick Mephisto like this, you don't generally want to bring a mercenary because he'll run out and get slapped down by Mephisto. Now here we are at Mephisto, and we'll go ahead and take him out. Hopefully not taking me out. But we'll lure him over and do just the standard moat trick on Mephisto, just like you would do with any other character. We'll lower res him, shoot him with lightning, and you see it is working pretty good, to be honest. This reminds me, it's almost the same speed as those Hydras were. It was a little bit more budget build that I did with those Hydras, but boom, Mephisto down, moat tricked. Nothing good there, but you can use it for Andaril, Mephisto, you can use it for farming any of the keys. There's all different sorts of stuff you can do with the lightning build. It's not the greatest in cows because they have so much health or the chaos sanctuary. But this is one if you want to try something different. You want to try your ladder off a little bit on the funky side and go with farm, trying to farm keys and spirit sets and all that kind of stuff in order to build up your wealth. This is one to go with.